Ladies and gentlemen, moving straight on to the next bout of the evening. This is a professional MMA bout fought over three, five minutes at 70 kilos and proudly sponsored by DN4 Photography and Design. Your first fighter, standing to the cage and fighting out of the red corner, Aaron Bowie. All well, ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here in this pro lightweight contest. Aaron Bow fighting out of the red corner, the black shorts trimmed with white, representing Fighting Club Lux Luxembourg by way of Peru. And he takes on one on one Aspire MMA's Tom Mullen in the white armor shorts. And he opens with some heavy shots straight away. Mullen looking very competent on the feet straight away. Throwing out lots of feints giving his opponent lots of different looks here. Mullen one and one in his pro career. Unfortunately, last loss was a TKO round two at Almighty Fighting Championships 20 against a very dangerous Mark Ewan. But in his first pro fight, he won by head kick knockout and ground and pound 24 seconds into the first round. So we know he's capable of violence. The swings and roundabouts of MMA. Tried to step over there. Good work from the ninja, Aaron Bone, to keep the Aspire Man in his guard. But you, what you don't want is Tom Mullen raining down razor sharp elbows from the top position. Like you just can't keep eating those. These are really effective shots here from this from this stacked guard position that Tom's found himself in it. If he's in a relatively quick short distance like he is here, he's just landing these nice quick elbows. But and Aaron, sorry, I was going to say Aaron trying to throw shots from the bottom, which is never, never a good idea. No, I mean you're much better off trying to get back to your feet than you are to throw pit and patter shots from the bottom. I mean, maybe if it's later on in the fight and you've just been consistently out wrestled, then maybe resort to you know kidding some of the judges with those shots from the bottom. Perhaps. I mean, he's worked really hard to 
Almost had Mullen back in full guard, but now we just got space for the elbows. But look at the underhook that Mullen's got on yeah. the far right side. It's preventing any chance of Bo getting back to his feet. Also, he tries to pull his leg over for a funk roll. And here. of course, that knee on the arm as well. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. You can tell that Bo's in a lot of discomfort. Oh, it, that it, could be tight. Not yet. It looked uncomfortable. It looked very uncomfortable there for Bo. But Mullen, I mean, it, this has been all one-way traffic for the first two minutes and 15 seconds of this round. And well, he hasn't stopped fighting. That's the thing. Even when he's been stagnant in positions, he's been vicious with his elbows and with his strikes. And when he's not been throwing punches, he's been trying to pass. He's just constantly stimulating. I mean, a bit of strong, strong reversal Looks like Mullen by Bone the there. But Bone's got the... Ooh, this could be tight. This could be that it. looks uncomfortable. Bo and No tries to wow. collapse onto his back and survives. You rarely see that. Bo put his own hand behind, behind his him back and then lay on it. Try and push yeah. it back. That was very interesting. You don't see that very often. Very creative defense there. North and south position here. No. Millen nice. knee on belly on the side. Trying to. I think he's got. Thought he had one hook in, but not. He's got one in. Now he's got one in. Is it two? No. Can't tell. He's just swapped sides. Now he's got. Uh, he had one in. He had two. But <laughs> now, now he secures the body triangle. All right. And again, he's making life just miserable. Now let's see how Bo chooses to hand fight here. Mun looks like he's going to go across the face with his left arm. And then when. Bo tries to defend. He's going to strip the grip with his right arm. Yep, that's what he's doing. There it is. It's up. He's going to strip the grip here with his right arm. Or soften his, part, his opponent up. Yeah, there we go. Strip the grip. Oh. Grab his own bicep. There we go. He pushes it. Now he's going to grab it. He's got to grab his own bicep with that left arm as he strips the grip. I mean, he's doing well to survive. But Mullen, look, that looks... It's more of a crack there it is! It. Yeah, that looked tight. He just kept squeezing and squeezing. And the backflip celebration for good measure. Excellent performance there. That's a happy... That's a happy young man, Tom Mullen. Well done, Re Tom Mullen really was one-way traffic that fight he just looked he was patient he landed some shots on the ground he secures the rear naked choke and Tom Mullen rose to two and one as a pro you know what I liked most about it though is that he was very systematic with yeah. his approach everything was from step A to step B from step B to step C from step C to our submit yeah be a, a wonderful performance. I mean, a little bit of everything. We got some elbows, got some ground and pound, got some stand up, but more important, we got the finish. And the Aspire Man moves to two and one.